A bizarre sighting for neighbors in the Mount Vernon community in Baltimore City. Hundreds of crows have been flocking to the area, taking up residents and terrorizing neighbors. But members at the Maryland Center for History and Culture believe they found a solution. WJZ is live at 11 and on your corner, Kelsey Kushner is in Mount Vernon and has more on what they think will solve the problem. Kelsey. Well, Vic, it really is a battle of the birds out here. While those crows are sitting quite comfortably here in Mount Vernon, there is one group who says that they may have found a solution. They're now playing the sounds of their predators to try to push them out. Perched up and in plain sight. So they pick their big trees and they're just like very quietly hanging out in there. Hundreds of crows are taking residence in Mount Vernon. Like literally hundreds of birds in the sky. It felt very apocalyptic. For the past three months, yep. neighbors like yep. Ben Newman say the crows have been terrorizing the neighborhood, leaving their mark on almost everything. And there was tons of like bird excrement everywhere, like all over the different cars and sidewalks. From sunrise to sundown, the crows have been spotted roosting on buildings. It was harrowing walking down the sidewalk. And it's a problem that members of the Maryland Center for History and Culture say they've been set on solving. It has been um, a challenge for us to keep the buildings clean. Katie Caljean says her team tried just about everything to get them to go away, from hanging shiny objects to effigies of crows, but nothing worked until... Crows don't like the sound of predators, so we're playing owl and hawk sounds to spook them. And they haven't come back. While many of them have flocked away from the area, some stayed behind. Just walking the dog at night, like I would be like head covered so I don't get... Done. Keeping a close eye on the neighborhood. Maybe it's the spirit of a ground Poe keeping an eye on us. Now, some neighbors that I spoke with say that they did notice a difference. They haven't seen, they have not seen as many droppings on the ground. And I will say that my photographer and I went bird hunting today. We did not see as many crows either. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ.